Hello, old Morgan Labs. We're gonna talk about when to flip vectors. This comes up when you're doing dynamics problems or physics problems or statics problems. Here we go. So this is based off of a sample problem that I did earlier. It was about a, uh, we had a, a, like, okay, we said a little spaceship man, right? And then, he was trying to beam up a little person, right? And they made a mistake, and the person just fell back to the ground, just slow, slower than he would have. So we said, hey, what's the acceleration of the tractor beam if the guy fell um, 125 meters in something like eight seconds, right, down? So have that picture in your mind. This was the tractor beam, what I call the tractor beam problem that I made up. Okay, now, what we're talking about here is when to flip the vectors. So from the situation, you got to think about the situation and try to set up your vectors to the best of your knowledge, to the best of your common sense. So down was positive because everything was going in that direction. So we defined down positive positive y that's not how it goes when uh usually when you're plotting stuff up tractor beam it had a force opposing gravity so gravity's going down so the tractor beam acceleration will be going up okay these this is the thing of um this is all about vectors the acceleration vector a lot of times we're doing a free body diagrams and forces but i just wanted to do acceleration vectors just to show you vectors are vectors force is a vector acceleration is a vector distance or displacement is a vector anything that has a magnitude and direction let's keep going so with this we can say minus acceleration of the tractor beam plus the acceleration of gravity which is going down equals and we know they're going in the downward direction so a the total acceleration down it's going to be something less than gravity okay this is what you have to do when you do these problems you have to kind of figure out the answer before you have the answer that kind of helps you i know that's kind of counterintuitive right if, if i knew the answer why why am i doing the problem in the first place anyway we go down here after we set everything up we kind of make everything kind of I uh, do some algebra this is the algebra step here so we have positive variable because that's what you're trying to find you're trying to find the acceleration vector of your tractor beam and the secret the rule if your answer at the end comes out negative, you probably have to flip your vector. This is assuming that maybe you have one vector maybe that you're kind of not sure of, but you know the whole situation. Like in this situation, we know the little man, he was just kind of falling at a slower rate, right? Because the little ship messed up and the tractor beam one is power powerful enough. Anyway, there you go go here the sample problem that I did before the givens are acceleration because he fell 125 meters in the downward direction so that was positive stay consistent the other problem we defined down as positive so we defined down as positive in this context over the time squared times two, okay, using the one half at squared kind of uh, like that. That and gravity's 9.81 going down, it's down, so it's positive. I'm just reiterating the same thing so it'll stick, and we just plug it into our equation 
and we we have um, negative a, which is minus 3.906, plus g, which is plus 9.81, and you get plus 5904 meters per second squared. That's your acceleration vector of your tractor beam, and it makes sense because it's a little less than your gravity right that's why it's a little bit falling a little slower and not pulling you up your tractor beam would have to be have an acceleration vector or a space-time curvature that causes 9.81 meters per second squared or greater in order to suck the guy up suck his passenger up all right or tractor them up traction it I don't I didn't whatever beam them up Scotty so now that's it if this was negative if this was negative I'm gonna do this here I'll make it purple whatever that is all right so if it was negative let's assume we made it like that okay then this would be positive and then all the signs would kind of be reversed. Okay, this would be positive. Right? And then you'd have plus, plus, plus. And you have plus. Oh, that would be minus G. Like that. I hope I did that right in the first place. Anyway, so that would be A minus G. Boop. Start over. You assume it this way. That would be plus. This would, okay. Like that. Okay. Don't worry about this one. Okay, because we're doing it wrong on purpose. So we can see. So. We're going, it's just going on. So it's plus A minus G. So if you have plus A minus G, keep that in your head. Plus A minus G. Plus A minus G. So if you had plus A minus G, it would be plus A minus G. You'd get a negative answer. And you'd be like, wait a minute. This answer is negative. But I'm going down this way. A in the wrong we assume we did it wrong. It was going in this direction, but it's negative. Negative should go up, uh, and then you're kind of scratching your head. Something's not right. Flip the direction. All right. Hope you learned something. Old Morgan Labs. I'll see you next time. Enjoy. Subscribe.